previously on the slaughterhouse. No, I'm just joking. But anyway, <laughs> I had to, I had to. All right, but anyway, but seriously, last time, <laughs> um, last video, part two, um, we're reading about how, you know, Shaw Wall sucks and he didn't kill King Amalek. So now his ass is in trouble. Um, let's see. Okay, so we were reading about the Witch of Endor, right? We were reading about how Judas and Nazura went to this Witch of Endor uh, because he got shut off from the Most High from a young age. Uh, they breed these fuckers nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry to, uh, you know, curse at you guys or whatever. It's not even cursing, but, you know. Alright, but anyway... Okay, so we were talking about, I wanted to get the footnote from this shit real quick though. Watch 28, we're in chapter 28, First Samuel. I wanted to get the footnote uh, on what it said because we, we read about how, if you haven't seen part one, you know, it, obviously you should go watch it. Um, so anyways, <laughs> uh, so we have, right, Shaw Wall fucked up large. Okay, let's get the footnote. What's the footnote say? Uh, focus. What's that, what was that one oh, from that movie? Focus, where was it? Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I don't know. Okay, okay, anyway. Focus me, Hank! Alright, but it. <laughs> fucking King of the Hill. Damn it, it doesn't want to do it, so I'm just gonna read it. Uh, it says, Just as the Most High gave great powers to the forces of holiness, as is plain from the exploits of the patriarchs and the prophets, so he gave great powers to the forces of profanity. This was in order to create tests of faith. That way people could choose between good and evil. Now in his desperations for counsel, Saul resorted to this forbidden device to call upon the spirit of Samuel. So see, the, the power of evil was given great... Uh, uh, even they know, man, that the, that the damn uh, forces of profanity, right? Which is what uh, Ju uh, Judas was summoning, right? These forces of profanity... Even they were given great power. It was so that the Most High could create tests, man. Everything's a damn test. Was that? Are you not the person that came here fucking all day, every day since you got here, <laughs> fucking talk about tests and shit, yo? It's a fucking test, man. Tell them what you always tell me. It's a test. If 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 we would just focus on the mistakes made by our forefathers, man, it's a test. He keeps telling you, no, he tests the heart. He tests the heart, man. And, you know, Judah got tested. The motherfucker failed, man. A lot of motherfuckers be failing and shit, you know? Uh -huh. Like, because he has that, that golden that golden heart, you know what I'm saying? But the false goal, he got the golden calf for the heart. Yeah. He's got that Haley Selassie stuck up in that bitch, man, you know? That's some heavy shit, dude. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sad. Um, This is not, trust me, I do not. This, I, I I like doing this, what I'm doing, just because I know that Yahweh commanded us to do so. And I want to please him, so that and that aspect. But person like, like I didn't want to have to do this to him, dude. Nobody did, man. I mean, all of I don't know how many times he was told nobody wanted to do it. Nobody wanted to do this, man. Yeah. But it had to come out because the motherfuckers a goddamn cointel program. It had to be exposed. This motherfucker be doing witchcraft, dude. Nobody. That's evil as fuck. We all loved him, man. We were all under that spell, bro. That's what's fucked up. Um, okay, so anyway, so let's go back. Um, we saw... You know, Torah. Um, so now, <clears throat> let's go back to Pizzle. See what he has to say. Pizzle, hizzle, right? p -hall, Fucking fag-ass, masonic bastard. Okay, so anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, remember in the last video, we talked about, it talked about Napoleon and this fucking little red demon, look. Little red demon, right? Okay, now check this out. Little red demon. Now, there's this thing in here called the red dragon, and it's called Poimandris. And, um, we're gonna, okay, okay, well, first, let's get, let's see, what should we get first? 
Let's get 615. So let's talk about this Drake, this dragon. Okay. Oh man. Hold on. Because this all links in. This all links together. The the red demon, which is what Judah Naz is fucking possessing people with. He's got the red demon. It also links in with the dragon of cosmic power, the great red dragon. And don't flip out. It's just a Hebrew letter. It's the ah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. So everybody, don't freak the fuck out. It's a ah. That's a. Tha, that's a ba, that's a ta. It's Hebrew letters. That's what I number things with. But anyways, um, you know when I can't for for extra mar so that because then I come here and the tha, the the ta was was the great red brotherhood. Look, that's what you know Masonic cult says. It's it's the way that I precept things together. Okay, using our alphabet, not fucking bullshit. Anyways, not. Arabic numbers, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I do here because it's just quick reference and everybody, because, ah, bah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I just, just, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I know everybody's going to twist my shit up and probably make videos and blah, 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 and I'm a heathen and blah, 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 and all this shit, right? Anyway, so let's go to 98 to 106, okay? Oh, wait, hold on. Well, damn it. Okay, well, let's finish because we we we'll finish this and then we'll go to that. But remember that great red dragon, red demon shit. Okay, okay. So remember, he's he's doing the black magic is performed to aid uh, at the aid of demoniacal spirits. So he's getting aid. That's what he said, right? Do we have to go to it again? Yes, we do. Can you hand me the tablet, please? Da -da -da. Um. Okay, so I know everybody has a, isn't there a force that makes you do what I want you to do? Uh, you're under a demon. You're under a demon, and I control you. This dude has been caught. Scriptures. What isn't? What it? What's in you can't be helped with scriptures, fella. You're under my control. He says, "Look, I run toward the dragon." Right? Hypnotism. Remember that. You are a sign you are under hypnotism. This dude's a hypnotist. Uh, knowledge of gateways. Rack is controlled by beings. Binding and provoking Rob Rack's associates. See? This is why everybody's all fucking retarded. Because this asshole is doing witchcraft. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I make your mind do what I want you to do. You act like you haven't noticed it. I'm gonna draw a boffy and all this shit, and we just saw what? What the fuck time is it? What time is it? Huh? You don't even know, some bitch. All right, hold on, hold on. It's I've got 1:49. Okay, in the fucking morning. This is the night watch, bitch. Uh -huh. Ashamaraya, man. Ashamarawa, right? What you know about that, huh? Anyway, yeah, heathen. No, I'm just. <laughs> King of the Hill, dude, I'm telling you. They say so much shit in that fucking show. Anyway, so so check this out. All right. Right, right, right. You're not going to wake up out of this, right? Perverted fucking, he desecrated the temple. The dude has his eye blotted out, which is Zechariah 11. We're going to touch that. Look, squiggly, squiggly line is a snake. Squiggly line, a snake up here. Look, and that's, look, that's like a crescent moon with a star. If you turn around, it's a fucking face. This dude's doing witchcraft. Look at his words. Look. Quick to sell out. This motherfucker. I'm telling you, man. Anyway. Uh, I summon demons. He's a fucking liar, right? I'm a fucking liar, right? Tell the people... Tell the people it's no joke. You're under a demon and I control you. Tell them. Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Scriptures can't help you. I run toward the dragon. Uh, I have knowledge of gateways. Rob Rack's controlled by beings. I invoke them. I bind and I provoke. Um, you know. You do what I want you. I control you. And people just stand there, and he's gonna laugh it off. He's gonna do this fucking psychology fucking bullshit and laugh it the fuck off and try to get you guys. Because why? Check this out. 
because he has knowledge. He got knowledge from these fuckers. All right? He got knowledge from these guys. Do you know who these guys are? Yeah. Right? He got fooled by these fuckers. Okay? Here's another one to go look at them. Chosen people from the Caucasus. The Jews giving up them damn selves, man. Go check out them motherfucking books, man. You know? They're team tribe, you know what I'm saying? Look, he learned it from these fuckers. Watch. Check it out. Let me show you. Let me show you. It's my old shit. Check this out. Check it out. Symbols of the Kabbalah. Philosophical and psychological perspectives. Wait, what? Psychological perspectives. Symbols of the Kabbalah. Look. I see Hebrew letters. That's a Shah. That's a Shah. Right? That's a Ma. That's a Ba. I'm assuming. Ya. Da. Right. Ra. Ah. Sha. Ah. You know what I mean? Look. Little shields. Okay? Okay? So, if, if everything associated with the fucking Kabbalah... Right, because they took everything and perverted it, but just because it's on here, just be, you know what I'm saying. So then, then you have to throw out all the Hebrew alphabet. So then, what you know what I'm saying? That shit's stupid already. But anyway, Jewish mystical themes of ancient and modern thought. Okay, these these are books. Look, God and the Big Bang. We actually have the hard copy of that. It's right there somewhere. Uh, oh, it's on the bottom. Can't anyway. Look, check this out. This is where he learned it from. Look, Sigmund Freud and the Jewish mystical tradition. David Bakken. Oh, shit. This is where Judah Naz learned it from. Sigmund Freud and the Jewish mystical tradition. Let me read. Look, I brought a little synopsis in the back. Sigmund Freud and the Jewish mystical tradition by David Bakken. Literary license, LLC, 2011. 346 pages. Long summary. Pioneering scholarly investigation that asserts that Freudian psychology is ro rooted in Judaism. So this shit's Judaism, man. Particularly in the mysticism of the Kabbalah. So Jews practicing Kabbalah and mysticism and Freudian psychology. And uh, I'm going to prove the part about the mysticism too. And that Freud's Jewish heritage contributed to his psychological theory. So Freud was a Jew. He was a Kabbalistic Jew, paid off Mason to come up with uh, what's called psychology. Psychological theories and clarifies the foundation of modern, uh, or uh, yeah, clarifies the foundation of modern uh, psychoanalysis. Okay? So that's what Judenaz is all about. That's why he's able to like fuck people's shit up. Look, this is this is his shit. This is him, man. This is <laughs> the book of Abramelin, man. This is this motherfucker. He follows this guy, you know. This is Judas. Okay. Anyway. So okay, so we got anyways. He got demoniacal spirits. He says he uses these beings. All that shit. We saw it. Who serves the sorcerer for a length of his earthly life and understanding that after death the magician shall become the servant of his own demon. So, sorry, Judas. For this reason, a black magician will go inconceivable ends to prolong his physical life since there is nothing for him beyond the grave. How old is Judas? Are you sure about that? Yeah. These motherfuckers... Six heart transplants and shit like that, you know. Yeah, there's, there's, they say they people motherfuckers. They that's where that they get that Harry Potter shit from. Yeah. That because that you know the first Harry Potter like fucking movie or book or whatever the fuck is called uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, which is funny because in England the original book's called the Philosopher's Stone, so philosophy and sorcery is the same shit, yeah. and they know it. And so you have the Sorcerer's Stone, right? Well, the Sorcerer's Stone is supposed to be like how you gain eternal life. But if you really deep down what it is, is like Satanism. That's what they do. They like prolong their lives. They like try to live. There was even that article, remember, on Infowars talking about fucking science has almost discovered fucking eternal life or some shit like that. Anyway, they're alchemists, man. What do you think scientists and mathematicians and fucking chemistry dudes and all that fucking bullshit? What do you think that shit is, man? Come on now. Oh, and excuse the uh, the noise in the background. I got my fucking leaky ass roof. Um. Okay, through the demonism of the Middle Ages seems to have disappeared. There is abundant evidence that many forms of modern thought, especially the so-called prosperity psycho psychology, and metaphysics, the systems of high-pressure salesmanship. Oh, wow. That's 
Jude is a high pressure salesman. Look, black magic has merely passed through a metamorphosis, and although its name has been changed, its nature remains the same. All well known magicians of the Middle Ages was uh, Doctor Johannes Faustus, more commonly known as Doctor Faust. By a study of magical writings, he was enabled to bind to his service an elemental who served him for many years in various capacities. Hmm, I think I heard that word bind before. Where did I see that word bind? Bind, bind. Hmm, who, where? I have no idea. I don't know. You think you could, you remember? Remember where it says bind? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I'm strong enough to bind and provoke Rob's associates. Huh. Bind and provoke. What it was served for many years in various capacities to bind to his service an elemental who served him. So he binds beings that he calls from these gateways that he calls in one sentence. He calls them demons. And then he says, I'm not summoning demons. You guys are dum dums, which is uh, dum dum is a uh, trigger word. Um, and then he says, uh, where's that? He says, where does he say that? He says that spirits or that's powers, forces, forces, the force. Oh yeah, that's right. Slack, the force. Use the force, Luke. But yeah, his forces, which we, we discovered in the last video, forces just means it's a cover word, you know? Demons, basically. They're just being little fuckers. That was in the Codex Magica. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, oh, so look. Strange legends are told concerning the magical powers possessed by Dr. Faust, okay? It is commonly believed his familiar spirit had murdered him. Uh-oh, Judah, Judas, like I said before in the last video, whoever the fuck you think you're talking to, bro, that's not them. That familiar spirit, that's why they call them familiar spirits, even though it seems familiar to you, that's not them, yo. Just, it's not them, no matter how long you've been seeing it for, or talking to them for, or whatever for, because I know you motherfuckers is bred for this shit. It's not that person. What's up, fuck? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, you speaking to old homies, bro? You speaking to your old high priest or what? Is that what's going down? His ace. His ace, is that what's up? Man, fucking man. I don't out of whatever you're doing, you need to stop it right now and go repent. Although Gold's Dr. Faust is generally regarded as merely a fictitious character, this old magician actually lived during the 16th century. Dr. Faust wrote a book describing the experiences with spirits in a section which he repented below. Dr. Faust must not be confused with Johannin Fust, the printer. And in here, <clears throat> but the very first, so this is his words, but at the very first invocation, I invoke him, right? I provoke him. Which I attempted a mighty spirit manifested to me desiring to know why I had invoked him. Wow, dude, that, how is, man, that is, that's some creepy shit you're doing, man. For real. His coming so amazed me that I scarcely knew what to say, but finally asked him if he would serve me in my magical investigations. He replied, if a certain conditions were agreed upon, he would. What did you agree to? The conditions were that I should make a pact with him. This I did not desire to do, but as in my ignorance, I had not protected myself with a circle and was actually at the mercy of the spirit. Is that what happened to you? Huh. I hope you didn't repeat this guy's mistakes. I did not dare to refuse his request and resigned myself to the inevitable, considering it wisest to turn my mantle according to the wind. Hmm... 
So, uh, yeah. Then I told him that I would be serviceable to me according to my desires and needs for a certain length of time. See, it's all about your desires and your needs, right? For a certain length of time. I would sign over to him. This dude gave up his life. Look, see this. See, you did this, but you didn't do this, huh? What what happened, bro? What what happened? What does it say? After the pact has been arranged, the mighty this mighty spirit whose name was Ashtaroth. Uh oh, is that who you're talking to? Are you talking to Ashtaroth, bro? Introduced to me another spirit by the name of Marbuel. What about that marble? Marbuel, huh? Who was appointed to be my servant? Mm. Another spirit manifested itself whose name was Anigoel. Huh? Are, does anything sound familiar? In the name, in the same moment, another spirit by the name of Asiel manifested himself. See, I'm I'm sorry, brothers, to, to to be talking about this shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like, look, a magic circle. The above figure is a complete and faithful representation of a magic circle as designed by medieval conjurers for the invocation of spirits. The magician accompanied but the force. The magician accompanied by the assistant takes his place at the point form. Do you have your your assistant? By his you have an assistant, bro? You have a high priest, don't you? Is it lunar? Formed by the crossing of the central lines marked Magister, the words above the circle are the names of the invisible intelligences, and the small crosses mark points at which certain prayers and invocations are recited. The small circle outside is prepared is the spirit invoked, and while is in use, the signature is desired intelligence traced within the triangle. So, um, yeah. That's that's all day, Junez. Uh, hold on, let's see, what are we at? 321. Man, okay. While the black magician at the time of signing his pact with the elemental... Demon may be fully convinced that he is strong enough to control indefinitely the powers placed at his disposal. Mm, that sounds kind of familiar again. Um, huh, let's see. Uh, push pull force. I still have advanced lessons. Okay, what do these advanced lessons consist of? Let us see. I'm even at a different stage that I cannot speak on thoroughly online. Let's just say I was revealed the knowledge of gateways and I can't be caught up in, in distractions. But I will tell you this, Rob Rack is controlled by beings. It sounds like a joke, but I ain't the only one who knows this. In fact, those who know this also know I'm strong enough to bind and provoke Rob's associates, gateways, doors, what an unhappy possession. So he's possessing Rob. He's binding and provoking him. Right? And he is strong enough, he said. But what does it say right here? What does it say right here? Convinced that he is strong enough. It literally is strong enough. Look, dude. It's strong enough. And then look. <laughs> this is so bad. This is bad. Fucking fuck. Strong enough to control indefinitely the powers placed at his disposal. He is speedily undeceived before many years elapse. He must turn all his energies to the problem of self-preservation. So is that is that what you're going to be? Is that why you can't have any distractions, bro? You're focused on self-preservation? A world of horrors to which he has attuned himself by his own covetousness. You coveted your neighbor's wife, your the, your neighbor's wisdom, because you didn't really have any yourself. You had what the Jews gave you. It says, looms near every day until exists upon the edge of a seething maelstrom, ex expecting momentarily to be sucked down into the turbid depths. You know you're going to Sheol, man, to that, to that darkened side, right? Afraid to die because he will become a servant of his own demon, the magician commits crime after crime to prolong his wretched earthly existence. He's just going to keep doing crime after crime. What did he say, Rob Rack, to? I'm just going to make you go worse and worse, right? Well, let's get it. Because you know. we actually prove things over here. Uh, what did he say? Where does he say? You're going to get worse and worse. Watch on. Hold on. Oh, done. Uh, strong enough. 
you are not gonna wake up out of this, right? I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, look, look. I'm going to notice the pattern as long as you play my game. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the force. Tap bullshit. Okay, I went too far. Uh, where does he say I'm gonna like make you go off all hard? Watch hold on. You're under my control. I didn't just tell you as long as you stay. Block me. If you block me or delete this post, I'm going to make you go off even harder. Didn't I tell you what I'm doing to you? Okay. Uh, this is for you, Judas. Um, the magician commits crime after crime to prolong his wretched, wretched earthly existence, realizing that his life is maintained by the aid of mysterious universal life force, the force, which is the common prosperity of all creatures. The black magician often becomes an occult vampire, stealing this energy from others. He's stealing the energy. That's why we're fucking all fucking tired, bros. He's stealing everybody's it, energy, man. right? He's still he's that's doing. I'm right. telling you, he's doing witchcraft. That's, that's why we had a problem with fucking with damn when we first moved to this house. That's why we had the low the the damn wasp problem, and then we had the fucking spider problem, and then we had the fucking uh uh the grasshoppers, yeah, and then we the had the damn the the frog oh. that dead frog. These motherfuckers is trying to send plagues, yo. Fucking spandex has my name all up in fucking witchcraft and shit. Yeah. These motherfuckers is trying hard. I'm telling you, Junez is all fucking baffied out in a room doing some savage witchcraft, yo. He's trying to steal the energies, but after we do this fucking sacrifice. Thank you. That's you know what I'm saying? Yahawa, man. Yahawa, <laughs> Akkad. Halal, Yahawa, Akkad, man. Fucking shit. All right, that's what the hypnotism is, man. You know, according to medieval superstition, black magicians turn themselves into werewolves and roam the earth at night. Can you shape shift, homie? One shift change. Yep, shift changer. I wonder if he can learn how. To learn from that's some crazy shit, man. Attacking defenseless victims for the life force contained in their blood. I hope you're not sacrificing, bro. Like when we say sacrifice, we all everyone knows we mean spiritual. I hope you're not sacrificing, bro. Like physically sacrificing, bro. I hope you're not physically sacrificing. Bro. Shift chaining and shit, bro. 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 The following condensed. Huh? Yo, yeah, they talk about it. That shit's, that shit's real, man. These motherfuckers can shape shit, man. I'm telling you. Motherfucker, to say, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and keep fucking fooling yourself. The following can see see what happens when you get under witchcraft. Yeah. Motherfuckers go stupid. The following condensed extract from an ancient manuscript is reproduced herewith as representative of a ritualism of ceremonial magic. The extra extract is from the complete book of magic science, an unpublished manuscript original in the British Museum, with pentacles and colors mentioned by Francis Barrett in his Magus. So um, you know this is in the fucking British Museum. Um, and see, and this is why Ju I'm telling you, Judas is, is like doing some sick witchcraft, bro. Like this motherfucker is like hardcore dude, because he, it's reverse psychology, man. These motherfuckers are good at playing mind games, like that fucking mind checkers, man. Like they jump around on the posts, like they'll come and reply to you on this post, but then they'll go and post a new one and then they'll come over here and they'll keep like dancing around. So people lose their trail. And then they say these words and they get people off on emotions and then they have these fucking musical things on the in and outs and they're rapping and they're fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like this, it's, it's all witchcraft, dude. That's real witchcraft. People don't even know what real witchcraft is. They fucking picture fucking Harry Potter and shit. Yeah. With these wands and shit. Nah, man, they're, this Judanaz fucking saying shit and doing his music and fucking b wills talking about rainbows and shit and you know what i'm saying like that's fucking witchcraft dude dancing around on the comment boards and getting people confused fucking sending the force spirit being demons to possess rob rack and shit that's fucking witchcraft yo that's high level sorcery dude that, it, that just happen, happen to, like, take, take all the fucking energy, 
Yeah, man, I'm telling you, they try to drain people's life forces and shit. They're fucking succubuses. Wait till you get to till I read some of that shit out of that motherfucking actual Kabbalah book, yo. These motherfuckers be drinking semen and fucking all kinds of nasty shit to fucking sustain themselves, yo. That's attractive. Yeah, fucking bullshit. I'm sorry it's vulgar, whoever's watching, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I have to break this. I have to try to help you guys break that spell, man. Yahawa, please break this fucking spell off, people, because this is some bullshit. The magician, having properly consecrated his vestments and utensils and being protected by the circle, now calls upon the spirits to appear and to accede to his demands. Wow, what are you do? You're demanding these things to go and possess Rob Rat, really? What else are you doing with them? The mysterious names, blah, blah, blah. I call upon, blah, blah, blah. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So you're Trinity praying and shit now, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? See, the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jupiter, you worshiping Jupiter too, or what? Through the virtue of our Lord J.C., in whose name I attend, wait for, and expect the appearance. Fiat, fiat, fiat. I mean, as I've seen a couple of these fiat things. Remember the fiat things and the fire things and shit like that? That shit's... Oh, yeah. yeah, this shit's fucking bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. Anyway. The agreement set forth above is purely ceremonial magic. In the case of black magic, it is the magician and not the demon who must sign the pact. When the black magician binds an elemental to his service, a battle of wits ensues, which the demon eventually wins. So this is why he's so cocky, because he's been able to outwit the demon that he's dealing with so far. That's why he's like, I have power to do it. And everyone that knows this knows that because all the Jews are like applauding him, giving him fucking. He's the one getting paid off with the flavor flav chicken. <laughs> that motherfucker got like a lifetime supply of that shit in his fucking. See, he didn't got cocky because your your had let him get away with it. Yeah, that's that Mal the Malachi that it. Malachi three. And they see he he thinks that serving the Most High is in vain. So now he's just playing the fucking part, just like the rest of these assholes that took packs. And that's why these assholes, even though they keep getting sliced up on the common boards and all this shit, and then the videos and everything, the, the heads, the leaders keep having to do what they do because if not, their asses are done. Their soul will be taken. Their soul will be taken to the bad side of shale, and that's after they're murdered by the Amalekites. They will sacrifice those motherfuckers, bro. They will sacrifice Tahar and all them devils, man. They, Judah, they, Judas, they will sacrifice you, bro. And you know they. And you know it. Why did you? Why did you guys try? Why? Why did you put up the charade? Why just come out, bro? Just come out and fucking. You know what I'm saying? Why is it all the lies? Why? Fucking god damn it, bro. Fucking bullshit. Okay, well, we're getting kind of close to the time, so there's... Okay, okay, okay. Well, look. With his own blood, the magician shines the, signs the pact between himself and the demon. For in the arcanum of magic, it is declared thus, quote, He controls the souls who controls the blood of another. He controls the soul who controls the, the blood of another. As long as the magician does not fail, the demand of... to the the demand the elemental will fulfill to the letter his obligation under the pact. So what do you have to do? What can't you fail at? Lexwell obviously failed at something because he had to have his face shaved. Yeah, for real. And, 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 he and he might get fucking killed too, bro. Some shit might happen. Lexwell fucked up. Oh, Either way, we know Lexwell fucked up large, yo. Then on so, so how is so? What's up with with, with Judas? What are you doing? Um, it says the pack, but the demon will try in every possible way to prevent the magician from carrying out his part of the contract. Your demon gave you up, buddy. That's why you slipped up on the common boards. That's why your ass got exposed, bro. Because you'd be fucking slipping up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, how I had to bring this shit out, man. The possible to because it's it's prophecy. It was spiritual prophecy that this shit would happen, yo. And the Most High's will has to be done. It doesn't fucking matter. It's that this proves he will take whoever the fuck he wants, and he will do what he wants with them. 
He sent these things, just like it says, the Most High gave power to the forces of evil. He gave power to the forces of evil to make Judah Naz do what he did because he needed it to do what he did so that we would be like, holy shit, he could take an Israel like that fucking wise as we thought and fucking just totally destroy him. And he could take the flea and some fleas and some maggots and uh. some fucking dead dogs and fucking exalt them with, 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 the, with the latter rain. With the rain in the first month. With that manna. When the conjurer invokes within the circle, has evoked the spirit, he desires to control and has made known his intention. The spirit will answer somewhat as follows. I cannot accede to your request nor fulfill it unless after 50 years you give me yourself to me, body and soul to do with what I may please. So he'll end up getting possessed at some point. If, the, if he's not already. If the magicians refuse, other terms will be discussed. The spirit may say, I will remain in your service as long as on every Friday morning you will go forth. So see, this is why he has to do these things. He has to do the wills of these motherfuckers. Upon the public and street and give alms in the name of Lucifer. So that's why all the camps, this is what the, this is the deal the camps made. They just showed you. Look, look, this is the camps. This is all the camps. This is the deal they made. Look. Every Friday morning. Sa yeah, but they do it on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? But basically, it's just giving you an example. But the Muslims worship on Friday. But anyways, look. It, look, I will remain in your service as long as on every Friday morning, or let's just say Saturday, right? You will go forth upon the public street giving alms in the name of Lucifer. The first time you fail in this, you belong to me. Damn, the first time you fail. They have to go out there. That's why they're saying, you have to go out there. You have to go out to the streets and preach, and if you're not doing it, then fucking rah, 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 rah. You get one chance. Man. And that's it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That ain't even a chance. And they like this shit? That's what I'm saying. And they like this shit. You're they're willing to blaspheme the Yahweh's name for this? One chance. Man, you, need, you guys need to get a fucking brick to your face. We've been atheists since... He is really atheist when it comes down to it. It says, Oh, yeah, man. Hell yeah. And it says, If the magician still refuses, check this out, realizing that the demon will make it impossible for him to fulfill his contract, other terms will be discussed. Until at last a pact is agreed upon, it may be read as follows I hereby promise the great spirit Lucifuge. Lucifuge. Prince of Demons. Damn, is that who you talking to, son? Lucifuge? The Prince of Demons that each year I will bring unto him a human soul to do with as it may please him. No, don't tell me, bro. That's fucked up. Baby T and shit, yo. He be trying to get that bitch to go down to Japan. Don't. No. Don't tell. No. I don't want. I can't. That's too much. I can't. I don't. That's awful. That is aw that's bad. Oh, that's, that's bad, dude. Uh, uh, the shape at night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's bad. That is bad, yo. He's physically doing crime that. after crime. He's physically doing sacrifices, bro. Holy shit. Anyway. What the fuck? I I can't. I have to keep going or else I'm, that will fuck me up. And in return, Lucifuge promises to bestow upon you the treasures of the earth and fulfill my every desire for the length of my natural life. If I fail to bring him each year the offering specified above, then my own soul shall be forfeited to him. Signed, Judas Nazura. Invocated, in, invoking signs packed with his own blood. Everyone needs to let that sink in for a while. And really do some thinking about what you guys have seen and heard. Not just from me, but from Judah. And kind of put two and two together. I would suggest everyone uh, pray to your hollow man. You know, because it's some heavy shit. Too heavy. It's sad, man. It really is. Like, they... they physically yeah, physically doing this is, is really, like, hard. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, man. Okay, so the Great Red Dragon, remember we saw that? I, I have to keep moving on. Okay, so the Great Red Dragon, um, well, fuck, man, I wonder if I have enough time for this shit. Okay, 615. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look, 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 look. Thus, the Great Sea Monster, the world, which is Leviathan, right? And its maker, the Demurgus, right? Which is Satan, whose strength is derived from the Dragon of Cosmic Power, right? The Dragon of Cosmic Power came to be personified, because this is G Jeebus. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying Leviathan as in Jeebus Leviathan and, and its maker Demurgus, which is actually Esau. Sorry, it's Esau. And then they go after the dragon, which is uh, um, evil. It's personified as the beast of horror and destruction seeking to swallow up the immortal part of the human nature. Dragon of Cosmic Power... Um, I think I heard something about dragons in here. Hold on. Dungeons and Dragons? Was that what I said? Oh, no. I run toward the dragon. Oh, okay. I run toward the dragon, not from it. Is it this same dragon of cosmic power? Is that who you fucking with, homie? That's fucked up, huh? Okay, so check this out. It gets worse. Let's go to, uh, page 98. Actually, let's hit real quick on page 94. I want to hit up that calendar because I mentioned that calendar. And I just want to show you where the 365-day calendar comes from. Uh, oh, is this Hermes? Yep, the Hermes, man. Hermes, bro, you guys are about to get fucked up. Hermes is the first importance to Masonic scholars. Is of first importance to Masonic scholars because he has the author of the Masonic Initiatory Rituals which were borrowed from the mysteries established by Hermes. Nearly all of the Masonic symbols are hermetic in character, which is hermaphroditic, so these fuckers are faggots. Pythagoras studied mathematics with the Egyptians and from them gained his knowledge of the symbolic geometric solids. Hermes is also revered for his reformation of the calendar system. Uh oh Hermes reformed the calendar. He increased the year from 360 to 365, Thus established the precedent which would still prevails. So they they're just following what Hermes set up, and he changed it from three sixty. And it's not three sixty is just what the constellation, or the so called constellation, the stars and the sun, uh, uh, rotate. They do three sixty, but then there's the four intercalary days, right, which make the three sixty four. You know what I'm saying? I'll be explaining this a lot better, which is found in the Book of Jubilees and Enoch, which are found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, which are written in Hebrew and Paleo-Hebrew. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so let's go on, move on to page 98. We're still on this Hermes guy, right? Let's check this shit out. Look. Hermes, while wandering in a rocky and desolate place, huh? <laughs> I'm sure, Egypt, gave him over to meditation and prayer. Right, check this out. He beheld a figure terribly and awe inspiring. It was the great dragon with wings stretched across the sky and light streaming in all directions from its body. I bet you it was a rainbow. The mysteries taught that the universal life was personified as a dragon. The great dragon called Hermes by name and asked him by why he thus meditated upon the world mystery. Terrified by the spectacle, Hermes prostrated himself before the dragon beseeching it to reveal its identity the great creature answered that it was poimandris the mind of the universe Ooh. have you talked to poimandris bro the mind of the universe the creative intelligence and the absolute emperor of all man you man what are you fucking with bro shit poimandris as the god osiris he worships jesus is Selassie, dude He's talking to Selassie. Hermes is besought Poimandris to disclose the nature of the universe and the constitution of the gods. The dragon acquiesced, bidding Trismegistus hold its image in his mind. Wow. The great white brotherhood in his mind, man. That's that fucking perverted temple man that he brought out. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Ooh. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. Check that out. The white... It's white. Look, that's what he has in his mind. The great Poimandris, the radiant light. Look, check it out. Immediately, form, form, immediately the form of Poimandris changed. Where it had stood, <clears throat> there was a glorious and pulsating radiance. 
This light was the spiritual nature of the great dragon himself. Hermes was raised into the Demitzi. And, you know, I'll break this down later on. Then again, he heard the voice of poor Mangus, but his form was not revealed. I, thy God, am the light and the mind, which were before the substance was divided from the spirit and darkness from the light. That's why he shits the darkness and the spirit and the light and all that shit. That's what his temple man represents, man. He got in contact with poor Mangus. Uh, and the word which appeared as a pillar of flame out of the darkness is the Son of God, born of the mystery of the mind. The name of the word is reason. So he bore, the he in his mind, he gave birth to this word, which is reason, which is the Son of God, which is his idol, Haley Selassie, and his, his, his fallen angels and shit. This motherfucker is fucking shit, dude. The dragon again revealed in its form to Hermes for a long time. The two looked steadfastly upon another eye to eye so that Hermes trembled before the gaze of Poimandris. At the word of the dragon, the heavens opened and the innumerable light powers were revealed, soaring through the cosmos on pinions of streaming fire. So then I guess he gave him a vision of those uh, UFOs that uh, GMS is waiting for. The supreme being, the mind, male and female. Man, you're on that androgynous shit, bro. Is that why you're so mad at us? Because we bringing out Azazel and androgens and shit? Brought forth the word, and the word suspended between the light and the darkness was delivered of another mind called the workman, the master builder, the maker of things. Wow, he's he's ascended to the master builder degree. Ooh. Is that why you think you're so powerful? Because you separated the light and the darkness and shit? The bottom from the what? Man, I know your shit, bro. I know your fucking bullshit. It's bullshit, bro. It ain't no fucking... Yeah, it ain't no fucking... They're lying to you, bro. This ain't the temple, man. They lied to you. They gave you the truth and then they lied to you. And they're like, oh, that's not the real truth. This is the real truth. And you're like, yeah! You know, and then you forsook the temple. Fucking idiot. What the hell's wrong with you? Look, then the Father, the Supreme Mind, the Being of Light and Life, fashioned a glorious universal man in its own image. Um, hmm. Universal man in its own image. Look at that shit, man. That's the universal man in its own image. This is Poimandris. He drew Poimandris. He drew an idol Poimandris instead of showing the, 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 our, our people the actual damn temple. You know what I'm saying? He didn't show them the temple. He's not showing them this anymore. He's showing them Poimandris. Right? Look. Of the immortal man, it should be said that he is a hermaphrodite. Or male and female and eternally watchful. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. And is governed by a father. Also both male and female and ever watchful. Wow. Hermaphrodites, man. No, don't, don't tell me, man. Don't tell me, Hermaphrodite. Really, a man received the light, life, and light of the great dragon, and of the life was made his soul and the light, his mind. So, see, that's it. That the soul and the mind. It says they produced. They produce themselves out of themselves for was male and female. So it's male and female. Hermes asked if all the men did not have minds and the great dragon replied, Take heed what you say for I am the mind, the eternal teacher. I am the father of the word, the redeemer of all men and in the nature of the wise, the word takes flesh. By means of the word, the world is saved. I thought or doth. The father of the word, the mind, come only unto men that are holy and good, pure and merciful, and the piously and religiously, and my presence is an inspiration to help them, for I am come. They immediately know all things and adore the universal father. So this is that Trinity shit, man. He's dealing with the uh, uh, Poimandris, the, the, the Trinity dragon. Hermes bowed his head in thankfulness to the great dragon. Who taught him so much and begged to hear more concerning the ultimate of the human soul. Uh, again, Salak, the fucking damn rain. We switched out the buckets, so it's, you know, shit's going. So anyways, so this, look at, look at this shit, man. Uh, 
Look, I, Poimandris, the light of the world, have revealed myself. Did you reveal Poimandris? Establish my mysteries, and they shall not fall, fail from the earth, for I am the mind of the mysteries, and until mine fails, which is never, my mysteries cannot fail. Is this why you're so cocky? With these parting words, Poimandris, the radiant and celestial light, vanished, mingling with the powers of the heavens, raising his eyes into the heavens. Hermes blessed the father of all things and consecrated his life in the service of the great life. Light. So you're in service of the great light now, huh? Some who heard mocked and scoffed and went their way, delivering themselves to the second death from which there is no salvation. That's what you're trying to tell us. In the worlds of man, Hermes sowed the seeds of wisdom and nursed the seeds of the immortal waters. So you're all down with Hermes, bro? For this is the faithful account of what I've received from my true mind that is Poimandris, the great dragon, the lord of the word, through which I became inspired by God with the truth, since the day my mind had ever been with me in my own mind, soul, give birth to the word, the word is reason, and the reason had redeemed me. So you you feel like you're redeemed from this reason which you gave birth to, which is the fucking dragon? Are you kidding me? The vision of Hermes, like all nearly all the Hermetic writings, is an allegorical exposition of great philosophic and mystical truths, and its hidden meaning may be comprehended only by those who have been raised into the presence of the true mind. Can you... Are you serious, dude? Really? But you don't think that we know? You don't think that the Most High is revealing the secrets? You guys think it's a secret? You don't think the Most High revealed all Vsauce shit? Why are you, why are you defending Esau? Man, you didn't go against Amalek, bro. You didn't execute Amalek that you were supposed to, homie. What happened? You should have fucking gotten on that shit, dude. What the fuck is your problem? Man, that's that's some fucking bullshit, man. That is some fucking bullshit. Alright, so anyway, um, that's my next installment. Um, we're gonna jump on the next installment and show his shit is super Kabbalah. Um, we still got this whole shit to go. Plus all of these, plus I'm gonna give you protocols showing that they told you themselves that they were gonna set this person up. And then I'm going to go through scriptures and show you that uh, the Most High told us first that they were gonna set this person up. So um, with that, Kahalal Yahweh Zabaawa Dakad Hamagan At Yashraal Shema Yashraala Yahweh Alahayana Yahweh Akad Barak Hashem Yahweh Ahab Yahweh Wa Akiyam Wa Akwa Shalom.